Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Jenkins tutorial, let us quickly understand how we can create a job within Jenkins so that we can execute our automation scripts through Jenkins job, which is pretty exciting, right? So very simple and very easy to set up and do the execution through Jenkins. So it is absolutely necessary if you are working as a test engineer, test architect, as that, whatever. Jenkins is very important component that you should always try to leverage right because it will make your life a lot easier so let's quickly go ahead and see what we have been doing in the test framework tutorial series or selenium with python tutorial series right so we have understood all about the framework and then we have parameterized the browser selection the url selection etc okay so to execute the code what we did is we simply copied the path we went to the path right so we open command prompt and we changed the directory, right? So we went to that particular folder where we had the scripts and then we fired the command there, right? So we said pytest and then we had parameterized the browser. So we said a browser on which browser we want to execute. So say for example, I want to execute test on Chrome and then the URL, right? So URL where we want to execute our test cases. What is our test URL? So we have been working with yatra.com. If you haven't watched all the previous tutorials, I would highly recommend to watch those because it is a complete Selenium with Python course, which covers everything from basics till advanced till framework development. So it will be really helpful for you guys. So go ahead and watch it. It's absolutely free available on YouTube channel. So we have provided the URL. Okay. And then the report, right? So to provide the report, sorry, I forgot this. So URL, the browser and the HTML report because you want to generate the HTML report. So I will simply say report dot HTML, right? So this is basically the command that we triggered or fired to run the test cases in the Chrome browser. So if I run this, you will see that Chrome browser will come up and it will start executing the test cases and should give me the results, right? Now, this is the manual step that I'm doing every time, right? So I am basically opening the command prompt, going to that particular location and then triggering the test cases, right? This can be easily done. So this a little bit of time for someone to go ahead and, you know, do all of this execution. So you can create a job in Jenkins to absolutely do the same thing, right? So that's what we are going to understand in this tutorial. So let's let this execution finish and then we'll understand how you can go ahead in Jenkins and create a job and perform all of these steps from the Jenkins job. So you'll see the test case has failed because the verification has failed. So that's fine, right? What we are interested in, how we can basically go ahead and set up the Jenkins job to run these test cases the same way did we did from command prompt the Jenkins. Okay, so we'll create a new item, right? So new job and I will say Selenium Python automation job name freestyle project click OK. So by this time, you should be already be able to understand what exactly I'm going to do in this particular job because in the previous Jenkins tutorial I have almost explained how you can set up this job right so nothing much here we simply need to come to the build step right and execute windows batch command so the first step what we did was we went to the folder right where my test cases are so we went to this particular location right so we'll simply copy it and here in the command prompt we will paste it right so we'll see change directory cd which is basically in the command prompt cd command is to change the directory to the location where you want to change it to and we know that our test cases are in this particular folder right so the next command that we executed was we go to this command prompt right this is what we executed right so now the next step will be to copy it and paste it here right so now report I will say report Jenkins this time okay so that we know that it is the report that has been generated from the Jenkins right so these are the only two commands that we want to set it up in this particular job right to execute our test cases the only thing we were doing is we were opening the command prompt going to that particular location and executing this particular command now this will execute the test case in Chrome browser because we have specified Chrome and the URL now we'll understand the parameterization of these in the next tutorial but let's quickly go ahead and say it and run this and see that the test case is executing exactly the same way as it did when I triggered it manually. Okay, so we'll click on. So you'll see that I'm in the Selenium Python automation job. 
click on build now and it should start building the project right so you'll see if our, uh, the chrome browser is already open okay i'll maximize it you will see that it is going ahead with the execution exactly the same way right so it will even show you the browser opening and things like that so it is scroll down should select the stops do the verification and then close it right so you'll see the build is still going on in jenkins okay and if you go to the console output you will see that all of the details that we used to see on the console on the command prompt everything has been logged here in the console output right so we can simply go ahead and see what has happened as part of this execution there has been a failure which is the failure because of the verification and all of the output you will see that the build has failed and we were able to execute this through the Jenkins job which is much more easier now we have done this setup once and now anyone can come to Jenkins depending on what access level you give in your project so most of the people will be having the access and they can directly come and run this job or you can automate this job to run on a daily basis which will also understand okay so that's the brief about about this particular job setup and in the next one we will understand in the next tutorial we'll understand that how you can you know parameterize we have already understood about the parameterization the choice in the list parameter this is what we'll be using to parameterize the passing of the browser and the URL uh, and the report name as well right but I would recommend just give it a thought before you watch the next tutorial give it a thought how you are going to use the parameters in this case and change it to parameter batch command and make it more robust so that's all for this particular tutorial I hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching